Hey, Sergio, uh, Dennis, thanks for taking my call before. Uh, so here, as I promised, is a uh, concrete estimating the way it works in Sage 100. Uh, this could be a little... So this is a six-inch slab on grade. And so the way ours works may be similar the way you do it in Excel today, but all I need is the linear or the square footage here. And in here, I have my formulas. Um, so I know for every square foot of slab on grade, this is how much base rock. I need 0 0.032 tons of base rock for every square foot. I need that much tractor time per square foot. These are different. I'm going to show you those in a second. This much polyurethane or percentage of a roll, da da da. You see what I'm saying? Here? So no matter how many I put up here, I can now make this 500. Uh, okay, and I just recalculate this, and now you can see everything has changed. Uh, so these are my costs per unit. This is the quantity that was generated using these formulas, uh, and these are usually hidden. I'm just showing you them here, uh, but typically when somebody's doing this, you, they can't get to these. But what this is on this skilled labor here uh, is kind of interesting. The formula for that is square foot 500 divided by SPR, project values. And so this is uh, my SPR. This is my slab productivity per hour. So I say I can do 350 square feet per hour. And so what happens now, it just says, hey, how many square feet do I have? Divide that by 350 and what have you. You know what? This is a tough job. Uh, you know, the concrete's got to have to be hauled in. It can't be pumped or dumped. Uh, and so, you know, I only can do 125 uh, square feet per hour. Once I do that, I come back over here. Uh, now my labor has gone from $1 or one hour is up to four hours. And so once these formula or formulas here are built, you just, next time I have a concrete job, I just type in 362, drop in my square foot, verify my unit price is on the concrete. You make sure concrete prices haven't gone crazy, uh, and I'm done. And that walks all the way through. So here's a wall footing. Same thing. Here's my wall footing. I have a thousand linear feet. The formulas that I built to do that, probably very similar to what you have in Excel. I would imagine they're really close. Uh, here's footing backfill. And again, I use a production rate on that. I have a formula here for column pads. I have another one for poured walls. Uh, and so once these are set, it's a piece of cake to knock out your next estimates. And the nice part is, is now taking these, uh, like right here, if I go right here, I've estimated 75 carpenter hours. I now have that in the budget, so when I run a cost report, I know, okay, when I did my concrete wall, how many hours did I really use because I thought I was going to use 75 hours. Uh, maybe use 72, maybe use 102, but you're going to now know how accurate you're actually estimating compared to what the guys are spending uh, time in the field doing. So very simple. Once these are set up, they get used over and over again. Uh, if you have jobs that have all of these same items every time, you could set up a what we would call a template job and just bring that template in. would have no quantities in it. You just start dropping your quantities in and you're done. Uh, you'll be able to produce your proposal from here. Uh, you'll produce your budget from here. And if I know as a, as, as a fact that I'm going to buy uh, these items, whichever these are, a bunch of nails and stuff, uh, from me, Clark, I can actually create the purchase order, not by hand, but with two mouse clicks, uh, produce the purchase order for those nails or those items with the price that they quoted me, and I can email that to them. So think about how much quicker that is than what you're probably doing today because once I know who I'm going to buy from, and I know that this is the hard number that they quoted me, I can now produce that purchase order, email it to them, and I'm done. So anyway, I was trying to get this done under five minutes. I did it. And so that's our estimating for how it would work for concrete. Um, let me get what's under here. That's a subcontract item probably. Uh, and then um, that's it. That's pretty much it. So anyway, if you have any questions, give me a call. Uh, I will get that proposal to you today, like I promised. Uh, but this should really give you a good feel how this estimating is going to work for you or not. Thanks, Sergio.